Judge Wilson, the last time you came before this committee for a nomination to the district court, I asked you two questions, whether you had committed any verbal or, or physical harassment or assault of a sexual nature, and whether you had ever, whether you had ever entered into a settlement for this kind of conduct, and you answered no, so I assume that those answers have not changed. That's correct, Senator. Thank you. Judge Wilson, your nomination takes the place of a nominee who never received a vote, Jewel Ozerden. Although he had the support of his home state senators from Mississippi, Mr. Ozerden was apparently not conservative enough for some of my Republican colleagues. During his confirmation hearing, Mr. Ozerden was asked by a Republican member of this committee whether a conservative group was wrong when he raised concerns that, quote, he has never affiliated with the conservative movement. He has never volunteered his time to advance conservative causes. He has never been active in conservative legal circles, and he has never written any decisions that have advanced conservative principles. This was all launched as criticism of Mr. Ojedem. We can only conclude that you were nominated to take his place because we never voted on Mr. Ojedem, because your record checked all those boxes and advanced conservative causes. Your partisan record is not just part of a pattern, it's effectively a requirement for the typical Trump judge nominee. So I would like a yes or no answer to the following questions. Did you vote to ban abortions when a fetal heartbeat is detected, which can be as early as six weeks of pregnancy before many women even know they were pregnant? Yes or no? Senator, during my legislative service, I, I voted as a pro-life legislator yeah, and, and so ran as the answer is yes. yes. Thank you. Did you call the passage of the Affordable Care Act, quote, perverse and, quote, illegitimate, and say that, quote, hope the court, you meant the Supreme Court, strikes down the law, end quote? Again, Did Senator. You say that? I'm sorry? Did you say those things about the Affordable Care Act? Yes or no? Again, Senator, before I ever became a judge, I wrote commentary uh, and served in the legislature where I took well, a number of- The answer is yes. You know, you've made those kinds of explanations. I just would like a yes or no. You either wrote them or not, and whether they were commentary or whatever, all I'm asking is whether you actually put those thoughts to paper, and the answer is yes. Did you advocate for voter ID laws and dismiss as poppycock the Mississippi NAAC's concern that the state voter ID law would result in voter suppression. Did Again, you say Senator, that about Mississippi NAAC, their concerns about the Mississippi voter suppression law? You call it poppycock. Yes. yes. I think the answer is yes. Please. Well, Senator, as I've discussed earlier in the hearing, I've spent years in public service working to protect the integrity of the ballot. I did have some role in supporting Mississippi's voter identification uh, law that was passed by Citizen Initiative. Yes, as, um, excuse me. I know you're running out my time, so uh, let's just move on, because it is a fact that you call NAACP's concern about Mississippi's voter suppression law. So you have also, uh, my colleagues have made plain that you have aggressively attacked the Affordable Care Act, and now you have been nominated for the Fifth Circuit, which is where, by the way, the court made a decision on the Affordable Care Act that is now before the United States Supreme Court. So would you recuse yourself if the ACA comes back to the Fifth Circuit if you are confirmed, having said all these things about the Affordable Care Act? Would you recuse yourself? Well, Senator, if, if I'm confirmed as a federal judge, I'll take the same approach I've taken in the Mississippi Court of Appeals on a case-by-case -case basis. I would consult, uh, I think it's 28 U.S.C. Okay, Mr. Chairman, you know what? This is a very important nomination. I assume that he's not going to re recuse yourself because he's going to this explanation. So uh, when you previously ran for state office, you filled out a number of questionnaires to seek endorsements from certain organizations. And of course, they wanted your frank positions on these questions that they asked. So um, did your responses to these questionnaires reflect your views on the issues you were asked? Did you respond honestly to the questionnaires in which you provided responses? Well, Senator, when I ran for the legislature, both in 2007 and in 2015, I took a number of positions on issues so the voters would you, know who, who, who they were yes. voting for. So I assume that you answered honestly. So in the Mississippi Right to Life questionnaire, when you checked off 
you support the complete and immediate reversal of Roe v. Wade? That was an honest answer. In the NRA's questionnaire, when you checked off that you oppose background checks on private gun sales and oppose a ban on owning 50 caliber rifles, that was an honest answer. In Mississippi's Business and Industry Political Education Committee's questionnaire, when you checked off that you support anti-union laws, such as so-called right to work laws, and oppose uh, allowing government workers to exercise their right to strike, that was also an honest answer. So these were your views. In light of your record of making controversial statements and taking extreme positions, the question is really whether these views will seep into your decisions as a Fifth Circuit judge, should you be confirmed. And I would say, common sense would say, yes, indeed, these views will seep into your decision-making as a judge. And that is why you are being nominated. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Are you my time?